Welcome to Movie Reviews by South the Normal with your host, me, Michael Soren. Today we're going to be talking about the Baz Luhrmann epic, Elvis. Before we get going, make sure you subscribe, follow along, give me some thumbs up, some likes, some comments. So we keep this thing going, let me know what you're thinking, how you're doing. Just drop me a line, subscribe, follow along for the other great stuff I got going on. But here we go, talking about the king, Elvis. If you go back to my initial take on Elvis in the preview, I'll link in the description. I was weary. I was weary about this movie because Baz Luhrmann is known for grandiose visuals and just this amazing photography, but terrible story <laughs> and not great overall filmmaking. Yeah, Moulin Rouge was good. Great Gatsby was eh. Australia was eh. I'm sure I'm forgetting one, but here we are with Elvis. It, the story follows the king in the aftermath of his death. He got his manager, played by Tom Hanks. He's basically dying alone in a hospital, hearing all these terrible things said about him, about how he ruined Elvis and all this other stuff, how he's a crook. And now he's like, I got to set the record straight. And he tells his story about Elvis. Like, it's very, the movie itself... The movie itself is Boz Lerman. Because Elvis is the rhinestones, the glitz, the glam, the over-the-top presentation. And that's Boz Lerman's alley. And you'd think, like, perfect pairing. Like, yeah, visually, but storytelling-wise, I'm going to give it mm, just about two stars, like one and nine-tenths. Of a star, I can't out of five because it, it was just it, it. Like I know people who were like Elvis lovers who watched it and loved it because they liked the songs, they sang along, they were alive when Elvis was alive. Like they didn't care about the movie being good filmmaking wise. They just wanted to see a story about the man they adored, man their mother adored, like. And that's good. That's fine. Great. That is what movies need to be in the end is like an escape. Take me back to this world. Take me to this world. Let me forget. And Elvis will do that for you if you're not a cynical asshole like me. But here we go. Some more on Elvis. I guess hard to explain why this movie failed. Like the subject matter is so rich and entertaining yeah, how did we mess it up? Like in the beginning, there's like long stretches of setting up where Elvis came from, what shaped him, all this stuff, how he's part blues, part gospel. I mean, the cinematography is okay. Uh, they do this really cool thing where they have freeze frames of like, pick, like turns into a freeze frame of like a newspaper shot from a moving image um, during the time when they're sing he's singing about racism in the South and how they don't like black music and all that. But it's like the pacing's inconsistent. Like sometimes we're like flying, we're rushing, and then it slows way down. It's just, I guess if I had to say one thing, it just, it's a biopic. And those are hard to get out of the tropes. And Lerman fell into the tropes. And you get this like great white hope feel every now and again with the movie and it's like just tell me his story let me decide don't that's what I like I, I don't want like we all know who Elvis is we all know how he died we all know he kind of stole um black music we know he was uh used as propaganda for the military we know how he was like this heartthrob who became this fat man who dies on the toilet because he was taking so many painkillers he struggled to poop and had a heart attack like, we know about the banana sandwiches and the uh, the fried banana and peanut butter sandwiches. Like, there's so much known about Elvis. Like, we know how successful he was. We know his downfall. Don't try to portray him as something. Like, don't put your spin on Elvis it down my throat. Like, just tell the truth. You can't lie about it because it's all written. Like, I guess my earlier point Elvis works if you love the music. Austin Butler was a decent Elvis. I He kind of sounded like him to me. Uh, other people said he sounded exactly like him to me. But they just really liked Elvis' music. 
So that's what they were just like enthralled with. This movie works as like, go to the honky tonk and let's let's dance to Elvis. Like it's a jukebox movie. Like if you like his music, they play his music for you and you don't care about the rest. If you wanted to go see a movie that's really interesting, enthralling, is that to keep your attention and paint a picture of Elvis that you don't already know that isn't like trying to make him out to be something bigger and grander than he was, this isn't your movie. Check out Elvis if you like Elvis. Check out Elvis if you like movies and see if you agree with me. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Follow along. More coming at you. Peace. Peace.